Well, everybody, you all know that at the Real Estate Talk Show, we're about giving back. And this is a fantastic opportunity to do just that. We're going to learn more about it. So welcome, everybody. First of all, let's talk about this incredible organization. What is the name? We are the Furniture Bank. OK. Uh, Furniture Bank is a reg registered charity and social enterprise. And what we do is we collect gently used furniture and household items. And we're giving it to families and individuals who are transitioning out of homelessness. Amazing, because typically what happens with that furniture that we decide we no longer want, uh, it just doesn't suit our taste anymore, or we've already bought new and it needs to go. It ends up in landfills. Landfills. Yeah, or yeah. you maybe give it if somebody's willing to take it, you know, within the family, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, it's either left out in the, on the curb, um, or, you know, a junk removal company comes, comes, uh, is called up to take it away. What we do is we, uh, as well as offering our donors a tax receipt for the value of the do donation, our donors also have the uh, knowledge that it goes to a family in need. Um, and yeah, we're very proud of the, the environmental effect that we have, uh, as well as the social aspect of it, because your used furniture can change your life. And how important is a show like this? I mean, we're talking about, the, you know, it's a furniture, Canadian furniture show. It's the largest in Canada. This is a super venue for people that are not only manufacturing furniture, but consumers are going to be attending the show for the first time ever as well. Exactly. So how important is that for your organization? For us, it's huge. We're really trying to get the awareness out there and, and let people know across the GTA, as well as across the country, that Furniture Bank does exist and people need the help. So explain to us how the process works. So I have furniture. I basically basically want to give it now and donate it, so take us through the process. Okay, so there are two ways to donate to Furniture Bank. One is you can bring it down to our warehouse in Etobicoke. Uh, we operate a 30,000 square foot facility there. The other option is our social enterprise, which is a furniture pickup service, uh, where we send out a truck and a crew to your home or your facility, uh, and we pick it up without you having to move a finger, and we bring it down and uh, we make sure we find a home for it. Oh, fantastic. Let's talk more about the end users, so those that are in need. So typically, who are they? We are focusing and helping people who are transitioning out of homelessness, newcomers to the country. Women and children, Women and uh, children. escaping abusive uh, situations. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so anyone in need of, uh, of a fresh start, basically. Yeah. Helping mm -hmm. hand. And people, you know, forget that furniture, it's like our clothing. It's an extension of who we are, and it's also a necessity. It's a way in which we function in our everyday life. It's, yes. it's just, it's also one of those things that you f makes you feel you're, yeah. you're important, right? It's, it's just a way of validating, I guess. Like, Absolutely. it's, it's right. to have a long day, to have things that may be difficult right now, nothing is more important than a good night's sleep or to be able to sit back on your couch with your family and, yeah, and feel co say, cozy. Yeah, we always say furniture is that powerful, is that powerful medium to, to, to actually have a fulfilled life. And most, and it's actually quite silent. You don't realize it till you actually walk into an empty room that how much, how much of furniture uh, is required to, to live a, a happy, fulfilled life, and which is what we want to give our, our clients. Well, and of course, at the Real Estate Talk Show, we were very excited to promote uh, an incredible charity event that you guys run. So can you talk more about that? Because it's coming back up soon. We sure can. Okay. So our annual fundraiser and gala night uh, chair fair is coming up October 30th. It will be at the International Center this year. Oh, so it's actually the new venue. New venue. Wonderful. Bigger, okay. Bigger and better. Bigger and better. <laughs> Excellent. So what we do for Chair Fair is we gather the furniture-loving community, uh, designers from across the city, uh, manufacturers. We bring together everybody that loves furniture, and what we're doing is we're trying to raise funds for our charity. Fantastic. Now. We had the opportunity to have Jane Lockhart on the show, yes. and we got to highlight one of the charities that she designed, and it was spectacular. I mean, the work, it really, it's amazing. I mean, this, this was used furniture used that they furniture. brought back to life, literally. They did, yeah, great pieces of artwork, so we're, we want everybody to come out. Uh, it's a great night, um, and this year there's going to be a lot more at the events. So. Even more because of a different venue. Yeah, I mean, it's about the love of furniture and the love of design, and it's about actually celebrating the gift of furniture as well, uh, how much it means to, uh, to our clients. Don't you notice that the people that are involved in this kind of work where it's all about giving back, they're like the happiest people. I love that. You guys are infectious. Yeah. So this kind of show, I mean, being here when we have just different shows, so like the Canadian Furniture Show, why is that important? Well, it's a, uh, like Tammy said, it's about getting the, getting the word out and, and, and celebrating the, that, that power of furniture. Yeah. Uh, and, and the conversations we've had uh, just today have been just instrumental. And, and lots of people know now about Furniture Bank and about uh, how they can donate and help 
uh, help us service more clients. So a lot of these exhibitors are like your ambassadors because this is the business that they're in, this is the business that they love, they're passionate about it, and of course it's an opportunity for them to make sure that that furniture that they created, instead of it being chucked somewhere and no longer used, wow, isn't it a great feeling knowing that's being passed on to somebody that really needs it? It, it definitely is, and we just hope that we can get the word out there so that everybody knows well, we're business. certainly trying really hard for you, and it's, it you. is happening. There's no Thank doubt about you. it. So let's remind everybody, how can they give, how can they help, what can they do? Well, they can either go to our website, which is furniturebank.org, or they can give us a call at 416-934-1229. And uh, we're here to help answer questions and uh, hopefully and pick up your furniture. And, pick up pick up yeah. furniture. Yeah. and how about those that are in need? What can they do? How do they go about? So we work with 80 different agencies and shelters. Okay. Uh, so in terms of uh, how the clients uh, book an appointment, it will be through their agency or their social worker. We have uh, you know great relationships with them. Uh, we work with 80 different agencies, and so that's, that's be the way to go. And what about volunteers? Volunteers, yeah, we, we love <laughs> Look them. At you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, we have over a thousand volunteers uh, coming in on, on a yearly basis, and uh, nice. all of them, all of them, uh, you know, are, are really committed to the cause. Again, get, go to the website and sign mm -hmm. up, and we'll be happy to have you. Well, thanks for what you guys do. Fantastic. I think that needs a group hug. Just <laughs> saying. Group hug. <laughs>